Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship. He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Nancy. to realize a piece of this UFC middleweight championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watched Israel fight that he has an ability to fight in so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of knee in because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. you got to have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. Israel Adesanya steps inside the octagon. He looks ready to go. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the gentleman. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel the Lamb. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Good. Dateline, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This place is total chaos when it comes to mixed martial arts, and we expect a lot of volume in this arena tonight. Jim. It's crazy to take in this environment. The crowd is going crazy. The fighters are drawing inspiration from them. It's a big moment for every Brazilian fighter that hits the curtain. They are propelled by these fans. Nice right punch followed by a left. Beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous to all of us. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with, and right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Nice front kick. Dick Pace early on to this one. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Beautiful hands on this plate. Another punch lands. Ooh, big shot lands.
missed over 20 total strikes. Have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Just over three minutes here to go round one. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Lands a nice jab there. So a nice job landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. He is a counter striker. He waits for his opponent to engage, and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. Just over two minutes to go. All right, so late in the round now, and the narrative, of course, has been Israel Adesanya striking. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, the head kick lands. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Oh, and he lands another pinpoint counter. He has done an excellent job seemingly all night, remaining patient, waiting for his opponent to strike. Oh! Big uppercut. Under a minute to go. Nice straight punch. Sonya gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Throws the left hand. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it. But the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to deter him from doing this constantly. He has got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, beautiful job with the hands there by Israel Adesanya. When you focus too much on the kicks, that's what happens. You get cracked with that Adesanya right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 
All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on keeping that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here to try to stop this fight. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job. Oh! Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big right hand there. Three minutes down to go in round two. That's a big strike right there. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has pulled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great win. This is a crazy high pace. Well, the last style bender's got it going here tonight, DC. As he often says, I don't throw and hope, I aim and fire. His accuracy is on a completely different level than most of these middleweights he's facing. Another one! Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Under two minutes to go in round two. Constantly a moving target. Working from the top here. Pretty good grounded pound here by Adesanya. Nicely done. He's going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he goes for it offensively, you get him out of there. He's got to hurt. He's got to hurt. He's got to hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Nice shots landing from the top What's position. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Adesanya's forehead is bleeding now. Cut is open. Gotta be careful here. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Great job landing from the top position. Good punch land. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight. And there it is! Oh, my God! What a result in Rio, a stutter. What a performance. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion.
champion of the world, Israel, the last Gael Bender, all right, so as they say, another highlight for the appreciable reel of the middleweight champ, Israel Adesanya, your winner tonight by knockout. Adesanya is such a powerful guy and such a big guy that when he lands, he can shut your lights off. Tonight, he gets the job done in spectacular fashion.